Hello everyone. I thought I'd share this little paper project with you that I've uh, just finished. Um, I'm just getting into paper crafting. I'm quite enjoying it. I'm losing my voice today, so um, I, I won't be uh, too long doing this. And um, I'll just explain what it is. It's a stack of uh, letters. standing on a, a base that I made and put feet on and I covered, just covered the base with a loose a loose piece of lace and at the front here I've just put a vintage rose And the, the theme behind this is unrequited love. And there's a little card there and on the, the card. The hours I spent with thee, dear heart, are as a string of pearls to me. I count them over every one apart. My rosary, my rosary. So it's a, a little tale of unrequited love. And the letters are tied with some frayed ribbon. And the top letter opens. A little bit of uh, bling on the top. I've deliberately not put much on here because this is for me and I don't want a lot of lace trims on it. But having said that I'm, I'm making another one which will be all lace and bling and pearls. This one I wanted to keep to a minimum. It, the letters are only small and this is a picture of the lady in question. Oh, she looks a bit tragic, doesn't she? She's uh, pretty sad. I think if you've ever, <laughs> if you've ever experienced unrequited love or you've been hurt in any way, you'll identify with that image, I'm sure. So a picture of her in that top envelope and the envelope opens up and inside I've lined it with some gold silk material and here I've made a scroll now this scroll contains my favourite poem. Now you might <laughs> you might think it's a bit of a dirge, but I absolutely love it. And it's a very, very famous Irish poem called Donald Oak. And I'll read it to you. Don't fall asleep, will you? And it was written by Isabella Augusta, Lady Gregory, and this was translated, I think, in the 8th century. So bear with me in my reading, but um, anyone who's been in love and lost will identify with it. It is late. Last night the dog was speaking of you. The snipe was speaking of you in her deep marsh. It is you are the lonely bird through the woods. 
and that you may be without a mate until you find me. You promised me and you said a lie to me, that you would be before me where the sheep are flocked. I gave a whistle and three hundred cries to you and I found nothing there but the bleating of a lamb. You promised a thing that was hard for you, a ship of gold under a silver mast, twelve towns with a market in all of them, and a fine white court by the side of the sea. You promised a thing that is not possible, that you would give me gloves of the skin of a fish, that you would give me shoes of the skin of a bird, and a suit of the dearest silk in Ireland. When I go by myself to the well of loneliness, I sit down and go through all my trouble. When I see the world and do not see my boy, he that has an amber shade in his hair. It was on that Sunday that I gave my love to you, the Sunday that is the last before Easter Sunday, and myself on my knees reading the Passion, and my two eyes giving love to you forever. My mother told me not to be talking with you today, or tomorrow, or on a Sunday. It was a bad time she took for telling me that. It was like shutting the door after the house was robbed. My heart is as black as the blackness of the slow, or as the black coal that is on the smith's forge or as the sole of a shoe left in white halls. It was you who put that darkness over my life. You have taken the east from me. You have taken the west from me. You have taken what is before me and what is behind me. You have taken the moon, you have taken the sun from me, and my fear is great that you have taken God from me. And that's my favourite poem. It's a sad poem, but a lovely poem. And to think it was written all that time ago. And I thought it would put it, put it to paper and keep it in this little casket. Just as a little reminder of all the women out there who suffer from unrequited love. And that's my little paper offering girls and I really enjoyed making it. It does go on a bit but um, as I say it's a lovely little poem. I like it. But you could put anything in there couldn't you? a nice little ornament and what I used um, 18 envelopes and inside each envelope I put a piece of card to give it some height stability. Set it on the base, put the metal feet on 
but you could uh, go to town with it with bling and lace. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that ladies and thank you for watching. Bye for now. Bye.